Hey everyone, we're gonna keep going on CRM now. So what we're gonna talk about is tasks. Again, we have the salesperson as the main card uh, and underneath the salesperson, we have tasks that can be assigned to the salesperson or generated by the salesperson. And the tasks, <clears throat> once you get into a task and you, uh, you complete it, then that actually uh, creates something called an interaction entry. Uh, and we'll get into interaction entries in the next video a little bit more, but let's just go through this process simply by creating a task, checking it off, and uh, seeing the interaction entry, or interaction log, actually, log entry. That's like ILE, that's bad. <laughs> okay, interaction, I'll call it interaction entry. Anyways, let's see that in the system. Okay, so let's take a look at tasks. If I go into uh, sales people, purchasers, and I go into Peter Sato, um, here I'm gonna just take a look at the tasks um, that are outstanding for this um, salesperson. We can see that there's one completed. I just completed it. Um, to create a new task, we just go over here, create a task. And this is like um, a great way to manage tasks for salespeople. The system can, you know, you can create tasks that are managed uh, and also you can have automatically tasks created from activities. But for right now, we're just going to log one task. So I'm going to check phone call here. There's only two options, like nothing and phone call. Uh, there used to be meeting set up, but I guess that's gone. Uh, so we're going to just do a phone call and just say here, um, check in with prospect. And we pick the contact that they are going to call and we're going to just have it here with first up consultants, call Evan. And uh, we're going to have that happen today. So start date is today, the second. And uh, we can make this recurring high priority connected to opportunities, etc. We'll get more into that later with the campaigns opportunities. Um, but right now we're just going to create this. And so now I can see that it's uh, not com uh, not started. It's open task for Peter Sato. So if I go out here, uh, close and open this again, I can see the next task, task date is here and I can click on that and I get into my tasks. And in reality, like you could have the task window be always open for the salespeople and the salespeople are working off the task window and the system is generating tasks into that window. So, you know, that concept works as a, a CRM system inside Business Central. So if I'm here, I can go ahead and, uh, and make this phone call or so. In essence, if I make the phone call, I go in here and let me see, uh, edit the organizer task and close it. So meaning that I did it. Um, there is a way to make phone calls straight from the task list, but that doesn't really close this task. That just creates an interaction, which I'll get into as well in a little bit. But anyways, we just come in here and if we make the phone call, we close the task. And I can say, register an interaction log entry, yes. And then I am logging what happened. So I called this number for Evan. Uh, I can say that the evaluation was positive. I can even go up to comments here and say, uh, called Evan. He is interested, asked to be called next week, again, um, close this out like that. And uh, we can go ahead and let me see, close this out. And it asks if you want to create an opportunity, meaning that 
maybe there is a sales cycle we can start now. In this case, for this video, I'm going to say no. Uh, and so it closes it out. And now I have no tasks uh, open for, for this salesperson. And if I just go out of here into Peter Sato and take a look at the interaction log entries, I can see that I made the call to Evan right here and it was very positive, um, etc. So if I go into comments, I have the comment for that. And this could be reported on. Um, the system also tracks cost that you can report on. So like you could uh, set up like a fixed cost for this interaction. But you can think of the interaction entries as the ledger entries for the contact. They are basically the activity that the contact is doing. In this case, out, outgoing phone calls.